I'm Karen Ivan and welcome back to Halo Halo America's top entertainment and lifestyle show for Asian Pacific Americans. And joining me now is actress and filmmaker Chudi Tu. And she just finished or is promoting your feature film, Pretty Rosebud. That is correct. And it's been hitting major film festivals. Congratulations. Thank you, Kat. We have been so blessed yeah. with our whole film festival and screening run thus far. Yes, and you have more film festivals that you're going to hit. But tell me, for those that don't know, what Pretty Rosebud is is all about because I hear it was um, all inspired by your views on how we were being depicted in mainstream media. Yes. Uh, one of my huge inspirations for writing this piece uh, as an actress, mm -hmm. uh, I in both Chicago and uh, Chicago is where I started, Chicago and Los Angeles, I a lot of the roles that I was constantly being sent out for were rather stereotypical and monodimensional. So part of it was I wanted to create my own work, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> but I also wanted to sh tell stories that are more human, mm -hmm. more flawed. I, I didn't want people to see us as like she cardboard flinch. cutouts. She's in we are always nurses. We are She's always doctors so or, or whatever, whatever or is, nannies right? or yeah. whatever the stereotypical yeah, positions might be. Right. So that's why I wrote this. Uh, Pretty Rosebud mm -hmm. is about a career-driven woman mm -hmm. who is stuck in an unhappy marriage. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so, oh yes. So she starts to break some societal taboos, and she's she's suffering under uh, family pressure. She's being smothered by religious expectations and cultural pressures, and uh, all of this is in the process of her trying to find her find true path. Herself. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, how long did it take for you to write? That's a good question uh -huh. because it started out as a play. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so it was a play, and uh -huh. you know, when you, whenever you write something, you workshop it for mm -hmm. a while, months if not years. Yeah. I workshopped it, and then at a certain point, I was like, you know, I think this story would be better served and find an even larger audience. Right if it were a film. Mm -hmm. So then I did the conversion <laughs> oh into a screenplay, <laughs> workshop it, all that kind of stuff. And then procrastination <laughs> set in. <laughs> that's okay, it hits us all every once in a while, right? Right, <laughs> exactly. yeah. and it hit me hard. <laughs> so I put it on the back burner. Mm -hmm. uh, at a certain point, I showed it to my then boyfriend, okay. Oscar Torres, <laughs> who is now my husband. Yeah. And who's also the director, the director of the film, right? Exactly. <laughs> so did he push you into, okay, finish this, I want to direct it? Or? Yes, actually it was already finished. Uh -huh. And well, he didn't even say he wanted to direct it. Okay. He was just saying, get this made. I'm like, I don't know how. I, I, I have no idea how you right. get a film made. Right. He's like, well, find out. Get this done. I'm like, okay. And at a, at a certain point, he said, well, if you don't get this done, you're going to have to play the mom role eventually. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I better get this. That really lit a fire beneath my yeah. butt. <laughs> so you play the lead role in the film, and yes. your husband directed you. What was that experience like? Oh, wow. It was pretty incredible because both of us are very much artists mm -hmm. at heart. And so while we were on the set, he wasn't my husband, mm -hmm. he was the director. Yeah. So I made sure to completely relinquish power and authority to him because it's, it's like I designed a ship, right? Mm -hmm. I built the ship, mm -hmm. but he has to navigate it. He's the captain. Wow. I can't start going, oh wait, no, you gotta do this. Exactly. You know, uh, sometimes there were, there were times when I disagreed with him and I said, okay, you're the director. Mm -hmm. I have to relinquish control. So. Yeah, was it hard because it's your story and you see it in a certain way? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I want it shown in this perspective. I want this character to be this way. And then he has a different idea. That's such a great question. Uh -huh. We talked so much. I mean, we're talking over every meal, even in, in the bed sometimes. <laughs> we're going to bed and he's like, hey, what do you think about this scene? You know, and we'll go back and forth. And we really, like, melded oh, our gosh. visions. Mm -hmm. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. There were times where, and it went back and forth, where I'd have an idea, mm -hmm. and he'd be like, well, wait a minute, let's add a few more dimensions. Right. Uh, la let's add these kind of layers, and I wouldn't have thought of that. Uh, that's that's fantastic, it makes it better. Right. So it was a really <laughs> was great a, collaboration. Yes, and it was a first film for you to actually put together and get done in his first time directing. That's right. Congratulations. Thank you so much, thank you so and much. And I hear it wasn't just important for you to portray Asians um, in front of the camera, but also behind the camera, right? Absolutely, we had many Asians and many many women yes. behind the camera in uh, what's called below the line. 
producing, designing, you name it. I, it was it was a really great production. We had an extremely multicultural, multifaceted yes. cast and crew. <laughs> That's so. amazing. And you guys just recently were at the Big Island Film Festival representing. Yes, woohoo! <laughs> That's right. We've had an incredible run. Uh -huh. So we started, we premiered at the Idlewild International Festival oh, of wow. Cinema. And we won we were so blessed. <laughs> we won Best Film, mm -hmm. Best Director, mm -hmm. Best Actress, oh Best Screenplay, goodness. and Best Cinematography. Woo, I mean, you snagged it all. Yeah, we're like, whoa. <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah, That's a pretty a good, good sign. sign. Yeah. And now you're heading to Dallas, you're heading to New York. Yes, yeah. uh, the Asian Film Festival of mm -hmm. Dallas, and then we're going to, um, we are screening at AFFD uh -huh. uh, July 14th. Very excited oh, nice. at the Angelica Center there. And then we're still waiting for our date, but we have been selected as an official selection of the New York City Asian American International Film Festival. Wow. So excited. <laughs> no doubt you're probably going to win more awards over there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're a mouth to God's ears. <laughs> Aside from your busy schedule promoting this film, you're also going to be on an ABC Family series. That's <laughs> Chasing right. Life. Chasing Life. Yeah, starring Italia Ricci, who is a wonderful actress, and she was fantastic to work yes. with. Uh, what's great is that even though, you know, give, talking sure about in the line of stereotypical right. roles, right. even though I'm playing a nurse, mm -hmm. It is not a stereotypical, monodimensional, boring role. That's all I'll say. <laughs> oh, darn. Yes. So we have to watch it this summer. Yes, you must. Yeah, you must watch. <laughs> on ABC Family. Yes. And for more information on Pretty Rosebud, where can we go? Go to www.prettyrosebud.com. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And you and people can also follow us on Twitter. Okay. We are P. Rosebud Movie. Okay. And then on Facebook, we are Pretty Rosebud Film. We're also on Instagram and Pinterest with yes. those names. So, so we'll be searching you all over the web. <laughs> exactly, all over. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so and much. Thank you Kat. for sharing your story. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. <laughs> Again, for more information on Judy and Pretty Rosebud, their website is prettyrosebud.com. We have more entertainment and lifestyle news when we return.